presentation. My name is Danielle Yoder. I'm the principal at Easterly Parkway Elementary School. It's located in the State College Area School District and is in Center County, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're going to talk to you a little bit about our background with uh, reading and, and success and I'm going to start by sharing a little bit of background about Easterly Parkway. Easterly Parkway is one of eight elementary schools in the State College Area School District. Uh, each year we have between about 310 and 350 students who come to us and they enter grades kindergarten through fifth grade. We have about 35% of our students who receive free and reduced lunch and 29% receive ESL services. Uh, our school receives a lot of students who come from international families that attend Penn State University for grad programs. And in recent years, we have had a um, significant increase in our Guatemalan families who also attend Easterly Parkway. We are very diverse. We have an international feel and um, we pride ourselves on being inclusive. Little bit about our background with reading and um, MTSS. So in the past years, we have used really a workshop approach. We teach according to our curriculum guidelines and teachers have different resources that they can use. Uh, what I found, I began in 2018, soon after arriving is there was very little phonemic awareness um, or phonics that was explicitly taught or um, used as part of the daily instruction in kindergarten through second grade. So in 2018-19, our kindergarten and first and even, uh, even second grade agreed to try out some Hagerty phonemic awareness and began to see results with our students. One thing I didn't share about Easterly Parkway is of the eight schools in the State College school system, we have been known as the lowest performing. Um, a lot of times we share that is because we have the influx of, you know, 29% of our staff or students, excuse me, come from uh, ESL backgrounds, but we decided that we can no longer use that excuse and we want all students to be able to grow. Um, we just weren't sure of what tools to use. So as I stated, we used phonemic awareness in 2018-19 and we applied for Patan's um, Enhanced Early Literacy Outcomes uh, grant that they were offering as part of the MTSS uh, series and we were accepted. So in the fall, we, we embraced on this journey uh, to find out a little bit more about the approaches for this series, more specifically the ECRI approach to reading. Um, I am going to have a title teacher today talk as well as one of our first grade teachers to really share the successes and how they jumped into that. But it really has been a shift in culture and for me uh, personally it it is changing our practice. Not only is it changing our practices of instruction and engaging all kids, but the engagement um, that we are seeing and the engagement opportunities in our kids is nothing like I've ever seen in the 28 years of teaching. So I am thrilled to have teachers present to you today um, and then follow up with answering any questions um, regarding our ECRI approach. Hello, my name is Laurie Corman and I'm one of the title teachers at Easterly Parkway Elementary School. Hi there, my name is Jamie Ramey. I'm one of the first grade teachers at Easterly Parkway Elementary with Katie Housel and Maria Neely. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about our journey this year. So our team started as a brand new team. I had been at Easterly for a few years. Katie had been at Easterly for a few years, but she had moved from fourth grade down to first grade this past school year. And Maria Neely came to us from Brooklyn, New York this year. So we were a new team getting to know each other, learning each other's styles and personalities, building trust. journey really began in October when we went for a training. So four days of us with our huge team were very... Our team was large because of the makeup of our school. So it included our principal, our director of curriculum, our third, three first grade teachers, the learning support teacher, the ESL teacher, the psychologist, the IST teacher, the coach, and myself. Um, 
Um, we met every Wednesday for our PLCs to discuss how we were going to move forward, how it was going to look. Um, sometimes we would invite our IU consultant, Heather Spots, to come and help us. At the beginning, she was there all the time helping us out and making sure that we were doing the routines correctly and with fidelity. Um, and I think one of the biggest things for us was collaboration, support, conversation. And this is just a theme that keeps coming up when I reflect on our journey as a team. We were regularly having conversations with each other and asking, did you run into this? What did you do when you said this? And we were able to have those conversations with each other. And if we didn't know the answer, we had support that we were able to get the answers from. But we also had this team support at our school. We had our title teachers. We had our principal. We had our uh, director of federal, federal programs stopping in to see the lessons and to see if we needed anything. So we had this cohesive team with this end goal of all students benefiting. And when our focus is the kids, it really takes a lot of the other layers away. The two biggest, pow most powerful things for my tier two kids have been the pre-teach and the routines. We fiddled with our schedules enough that we could get the pre-teach in before the classroom teacher does her teaching. So my title students receive a pre-teach of the same exact lesson that they're going to get before they get it with the classroom teacher. And we have found that they really are able to participate a lot more during the classroom teacher's lesson. And they also feel more confident about what they know because they've already been through the lesson once. Which really did support that we did it as a pre-teach instead of a review. The other thing are the routines. I find my kids feel really successful with knowing and learning the knowledge that I'm trying to give them because they know the routines already. There's no guessing on how our day is gonna go for our 30 minutes in my room. We do the same exact routines every day and the kids really like it. I thought at first they might be a real, little reluctant or get bored, but I think because they are confident in knowing what's gonna happen, the learning then just comes much more easy, to, more easily to them. Um, we found a lot of good success with the program for tier, my tier two students. This is the first year that I can say all my first graders can blend predictable words um, or regular words that follow the rules. And they also have found such success with the decodable text. They really, like to read it more than once. Some of the behaviors that I used to get, I just don't find that I get this year because students are more successful with the program and with being able to read and they feel like they are readers. So it's really been a great addition to my teaching and um, to helping my students become better readers. One of our big concerns as we moved online is how are we going to continue delivering this instruction for our students because we have seen so much growth so far. We did not want to see our kids just stop. So as a team with, again, a lot of collaboration, support, conversations, and a lot of trial and error, we have been providing our lessons uh, over video. So we've been recording the lessons ourselves as teachers which are then posted to a website securely that our students have access to that they are able to do independently. And the way that we've kind of worked with that is with ECRI, one of the important pieces is that the students are participating and that if they are not saying the correct word, there is a correction piece. And if they don't know the word, they have other students around them that are providing the correct response so that they're exposed to it. So the way that we've done that is as the teacher, we are having the student read. So when we go through our routine today, we're gonna to practice reading words. 
when I point to the word, say the word in your head. When I slide my finger, read the word out loud, and then listen to see if what you say matches what I say. So we point, we slide, we allow that time for a student to respond, and then we say the word out loud. This takes slightly more time, but the students are then able to be exposed to the words if they're not reading accurately. And if they're inaccurate, they're getting that immediate response and feedback, which is crucial for them in their development and reading. Hi friends, it's Mrs. Rainey. We are going to get started with Unit 5, Lesson 23, Day 1. You are going to learn to read some new words using say it, spell it, say it. My turn word again. Your turn word. Spell again. Word. My turn word boy. Your turn word. Spell boy. Word. Father. Great job, friends. Let's do some individual turns. When I point to a word, say the word in your head. When I slide my finger, read that word out loud and listen to see if the word you say matches what I say. Word. Along. Great job. Word. Together. Fantastic. Keep it up. Word. Father. Awesome, friends. Let's get to the sound spelling cards. You're going to practice the sound spelling cards. When I tap the card, you'll tell me the name of the card, the sound, and the spelling. Card, book, sound, uh, spelling, o, o. Card, bird, sound, er, first spelling, e, r. Second spelling, i, r. Third spelling, you are. If you need another moment, go ahead and press pause. If not, we're going to get started with the word good. G, uh, g. My G is going to start just like that letter A, just below that line. We're going to go up and around, up, way down, up. It's an underwater letter. And then I have my O, O pattern, up and around, up and around. G, uh, d. Do you know where to start it? Yeah, all of our letters today started in that same place. We went up and around, up, way down, up, up and around, up and around, up and around, way up and down. Oh my goodness, all of those letters started in the same place. I want you to check and make sure that you spelled your word good. G-O-O-D. I want you to check and make sure they are all lowercase and that your D is up and around, way up and down, and facing the correct direction. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to write jar from lesson, from week three, lesson 21, learned by Miss, learned from Mrs. Housel. Okay, so word jar. Word, word is jar. Word jar. Uh, what is it? Yesterday, I opened a jar of Nutella to make a peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. Word, jar. Say the sounds in jar, j, r. Say the sounds in jar with me again, j, r. Write the word jar. J. A R. Okay, I'm gonna check my word. J A R. Right word. Okay, so I got the word right, got everything right. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching. I didn't actually listen. We continue to have conversations about how things are going. We're moving to looking how we can support students in small groups with some of those interventions in an online environment on Zoom. So Laurie Corman and Maria Neely are doing small groups with our tier three students doing kindergarten equity. Uh, to meet with them. And again, it's still a work in progress, but that's what we figured out so far. 
to try and meet the needs of our students. ECRI has given us the opportunity to have a program that has been rigorously tested and is evidence-based that we have our next steps in place. We know we are giving all of our students this amazing tier one instruction. And if students are not making progress, it is not because I did something wrong. It is because we need to give them more support. And we have very structured supports that are consistent across our grade level and consistent across our team that's working with our students. Since there is consistency across all of us, the first grade teachers, the title teachers, the ESL teachers, the special education teachers, we are able to flexibly group because there's no change, there's no shift that these students have to make. This is a routine that they are familiar with, that as long as they know that routine that we have all set up consistently, they are able to be successful in this program.